ಜಗ ನೀ ಜೀವ ಜಲಧಾರಲು ಆಧಾರಲೆ ಪ್ರವಹಿಂಪಗ ನನು ಕಡಿಗಿ ಪ್ರತಿಕಿಂಚಗ ಆ ಕಲುವರಿ ಗಿರಿ ನುಂಡಿ ಶ್ರವಿಂಚಗ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಟೂಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂಥ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಷಿಯಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಜೀಸಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಜ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೆಂಟೈಲ್ಸ್ and it is true that jesus christ came into this world to rule over israel and save his own people the jews but they outrightly rejected him we know this and in the process the lord took away eight precious things from his own people and gave it to an another group and another people and who are they the good news is those people well we the gentiles it's you and me amen so before i would share the fourth thing i want to show you that jesus christ came into this world to save his people only a proof a proof text turn your bibles with me to matthew chapter 1 verse 23 and she shall bring forth a son and thou shall call his name jesus now note for he shall save his people from their sins an angel of the lord appeared to joseph in a dream and spoke these words so it is heaven's declaration so thereby i deem it as very important very significant jesus his name shall be called jesus for he shall save his people from their sins and who are his people the jews obviously so praise the name of the lord so his birth had a primary reason to save his own people but when his own people rejected him and when he entered into the temple and when he saw that they changed the temple premises just like a market he couldn't bear it he pronounced woes upon their leaders the leaders of israel and finally stated this words i want you to turn your bibles with me to find out that fourth thing what he took away from his people matthew chapter 23 verse 39 matthew 23 39 let me read it for you for i say unto you ye shall not see me henceforth till ye shall say blessed is he that cometh in the name of the lord jesus pronounced from his own mouth that he was withdrawing himself from the people of israel from now onwards you will not see me jesus withdrew out of their sight he is no more their messiah he took away himself from his people did you listen he took away himself from his people so what is the fourth thing that jesus took away from his people he himself he said till you shall say again blessed is he that cometh through the name of the lord i will not return when will this be fulfilled this will happen exactly at the end of the great tribulation after church is lifted up seven years would pass by and when jews would be attacked by the antichrist they would be terrified and they will know the one whom they have pierced 
was their Messiah, just as Zechariah has prophesied. So they know the one whom they have pierced was Jesus Christ. They will recognize him. They will call him fulfilling the words of Jesus. They will be calling him saying, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Amen. And at that time, their Messiah, our Lord, along with him, we will all with Jesus return to the earth. But till then, their hearts will be hardened partially for a time, the Bible tells. But the good news for us today is this. When Jesus took away himself from his people, he gave himself to us. He gave his flesh and blood for us. He died for us and gave salvation through his death and resurrection. What a privilege it is. Amen. God bless you as you meditate on this fourth thing. Today, he belongs to you and you belong to him. And this is a time of our privilege. And I give glory to the name. Meditating these words, let's close our eyes and look to the Lord in prayer. Father, we want to thank you for this privilege that you have given us, Lord. Jesus, you gave yourself to us. You gave your body, you shed your blood on the cross, and you died for us and you rose again for us. You died so that our sins can be put out, can be washed away. You rose again so that we would be called your righteousness, so that we would be justified as righteous. We want to thank you for doing these things beyond our imagination. What a privilege it is. We hold on to this privilege and glorify your name this morning. As we pass through this day, we would meditate your words and glorify your name. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.